Welcome to BTW 21 News. We welcome you and appreciate your company. There's a lot of news that we have to cover on this Thursday, so we're going to get right into it. And we are going to be talking about incidents and news that have happened in Martins or Henry County, Eden, North Carolina, and Franklin County as well. So let's start off with uh, a crash that occurred on uh, Wednesday night, and it occurred in the Horse Pasture District of Henry County. What we can tell you is that uh, agencies were called there at 9.25 p.m. again on Wednesday. This uh, crash occurred on Village Street at Fellowship Drive, again in the Horse Pasture community of Henry County, and involved a single a single car. The Horse Pasture Volunteer Fire Department, Henry County Department of Public Safety, and Virginia State Police all responded for a red Volkswagen crash that um, actually the Volkswagen crashed into the deck of a home which has an address of Fellowship Drive. At this time, it appears that the Volkswagen ran off the road, crashed into some trees before hitting the deck. We understand that the female had some injuries. She was taken to Sova Health in Martinsville, but that is all the information we have in regards to her, her injuries. If we have to find out more, we will keep you updated. Now we're talking about news in Eater, North Carolina, where crews spent nearly six hours battling a blaze. This included uh, two agencies from here, Henry County, including the Ridgeway District and Horse Pasture Fire Departments that responded again to that massive blaze. The call came out at around 1046 p.m. on Wednesday when that's when the Eden Fire Department was dispatched there to the structure fire at the former Stray Cotton Mill which is located at 417 Church Street. Firefighters say they arrived on scene and found the lower building near the Smith River fully engulfed. Eden Fire began efforts to fight the massive fire and requested assistance from surrounding agencies. 23 agencies answered that call and assisted with extinguishing the blaze that took, again, almost six hours to get under control. No injuries have been reported. Now moving on to Franklin County, where there was a threat of a gun being on school property, and now we're told by authorities that it is not credible. On Thursday, Franklin County Sheriff's Office says that it assisted administration at Benjamin Franklin Middle School with the situation of a student yelling that someone had a gun. The school research officer and school administration immediately addressed the situation and the student was removed from the class, according to the sheriff's office. A search was conducted and with, within the school, and no weapon was located. Authorities said that while the investigation continues, it has been determined that there is not a credible threat to the school's safety. And I quote, we take all potential threats seriously to ensure that our students in schools are safe, the sheriff's office said. As we continue to talk about school news and this time about athletics, there's going to be a cap for the individuals that will be admitted to the upcoming game this Friday at Martinsville Middle School. There's an attendance gap, as I mentioned to you, for the basketball games in Martinsville after a fight broke out at the end of the January 18th game. We're continuing to review uh, footage from that game, trying to identify people who came out of the stands and onto the court. And uh, as we identify those people, anyone that we identify uh, will be banned from uh, future games. Starting on Friday, a maximum of 300 spectators will be allowed. The players, coaches, and school officials do not count as spectators. Moving forward, uh, anyone who is not authorized to be on the court, who does come onto our court, will be banned from our games. School officials say this is an involving situation and that they will continue to review and evaluate their game attendance policies moving forward. Of course, we want to make sure that uh, our students, our faculty, uh, and our community all feel safe when they come to any school event, but student safety is one of our top priorities in athletics and anywhere else. We're of course, with a lot going on in our community and surrounding our communities, we have to, of course, talk about some good news as well and trying to change the tone of our newscast. We're talking about a new business that will soon be opening its doors, and this is Surprise, which is a treatment center that will be opening uh, in a 52-acre uh, property in Bassett. Yay! Yay! 
Hello, Rowan. Thank you for joining us as we uh, celebrate another opening here in Martinsville and Henry County. I'm joined uh, with two uh, representatives that are going to be talking about uh, a great service that has come to the Bassett Collinsville area, but of course, uh, all of those in Henry County can take advantage. We're going to start off with introductions, so we'll let ladies go first and tell us uh, your name, you know, and how you serve, uh, you know, the the organization. All right. My name is Angela Tallman. I'm executive director of Sobrias here at the Bassett location. And yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to open. <laughs> and, and your name? My name is Jason Stevens. I'm the CEO of Subrias. Absolutely. All right. So tell us. Um, you know, we, we've talked a little bit, of, or you talked a little bit about excitement. Um, you know, for those that don't know, what 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 are some of the services, or what what, what does Subrias do? So Subrias' um, main mission is to change the face of addiction. They use a holistic approach. They do uh, guided imagery and. Um, some care therapy, which is to help people with the negative emotions to get rid of them and bring in some of the positive emotions. Um, so they get individual counseling, they get group counseling, they get AA and NA offered to them, life skills offered to them, the care therapy, which is the hugest part of this whole program, um, as well as um, just a comfortable, they get home locally raised food, um, so their nutrition is, is well. Um, and then they have this beautiful place to live in as well. If, did I forget anything, Mr. Stevens? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm jealous, uh, you know, know. Of, of such a beautiful facility. And, and, you know, our viewers will be able to see that as we insert some of the footage here. But why uh, Martins or Henry County? Well, w we believe that there's a need here. And um, I, I don't think that's unknown by anyone. Okay. The one thing that I would like to add is that one, one of the things that Sobrias is looking at is we want to do the full continuum of care. We want to start with the detox, the residential, then we do what's called the partial hospitalization, and then we do what is the, the low intensity, which is basically kind of like a sober living home, and then we want to do the outpatient services. So what our goal is is to make sure that people are in treatment for a year, up to two years, and we have found that with that, their, their success rate for sobriety is much, much higher. Now that was just a shortened uh, interview. If you want to watch the full interview, you can head on over to facebook.com slash btw21. Folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We have a lot more news to cover, including that uh, weather report with Dustin Staples. Stay with us. Hi, Brian Nelson here, Nelson Ford Martinsville. I got you a brand new F-250 with that Godzilla motor, a 7.3. Come get it while it lasts. It won't last. Got you a brand new Expedition loaded. You can buy this baby around $60,000 only at Nelson Ford Marksville. Got a brand new Lariat F-350 Power Stroke ready to roll only at Nelson Ford. You want a great work truck? We got an F-250 gas truck, long bed, four-wheel drive only here at Nelson Ford. The real deal of the day, we got an F-150 XLT, 0% financing plus a $1,000 rebate plus a thousand dollar rebate only here at Nelson Ford where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor? One that is hardworking, honest, and knows the area? Also willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion? Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville, and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential, and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients' needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Hey, come see us at Morrisville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Morris for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked.
You're watching BTW 21 News. As always, we appreciate your company. It is now time for us to uh, let Dustin Staples give us a look at what we should be expecting for this Thursday, Friday, and of course the weekend. We do begin with a mostly sunny sky here as our temperatures are going to remain pretty cold, cooler uh, than average. So we're running about a few degrees below normal. The average high for the end of the month of January is coming in at 46 degrees. So as you can already tell, we're already running below that. And this month has been more so of a difficult month because it's been cold and then it gets really warm briefly and then it gets really cold again and then it warms back up. So overall this month has been pretty considerable mild to say the least. Of course we're now going with zero inches of snow for the entire month of January. There's not really much expected going into the last several days either. So uh, congratulations if you had no snow on your bingo card for 2023. Well, you're doing a good job with it. So anyway, you can stamp that one down with no snow, clear skies, temperature staying in the 30s for us for our overnight lows dipping uh, right there as well. Our sunset is coming in at 538. So what's going to end up happening with that? Of course, our sunsets are getting longer uh, later in the evening. Of course, what's going to happen with the sun being out longer later in the night time, it's going to begin to get a little harder to get colder. And also what happens with that, our sun angle gets a little higher in the sky. And what prevents that from happening, getting uh, less chances of winter weather, but it's possible. And once our sun angle gets out to a certain degree, particularly in the late early to late afternoon hours, a lot of times we're not going to begin to see uh, the longer and dark, not dark times in the evening hours because the suns are uh, setting later and then again the sunrises are also occurring earlier too. So that is going to be a caveat as we get closer to the upcoming winter. We'll, as we see, we got February and a lot of you know March has been our snowy months. Okay, enough of my soapbox. Temperatures tonight in the 20s. Cold, not as breezy at times, so that's going to be the good news for us too. Temperatures for your Friday getting back up in the 40s. As you see here, plentifully of cooler temperatures, so near normal. 40 air at 44 in Stewart, coming at 45 there in Woolwine. We'll have 46 both at, uh, in Ridgeway and Oak Level, of course, in the city to 47 degrees, 46 Boone's Mill, 45 as well in both Rocky Mount and Ferrum. Something about tomorrow is that, of course, if you have trash uh, week, of course, this is going to be laying over the weekend. Obviously, there's not going to be trash taking part on the weekend, but if you do have trash day uh, for Friday, you should be okay now. You shouldn't have to worry about your trash cans and lids blowing across your neighbor's yard because the t winds will begin a lot be diminishing later in the afternoon with that plentiful mix of clouds and sun. As you see here, temperatures are not going to be terribly cold, but uh, we're going to be near average, something we're very grateful to say for this time of the year because especially this entire winter, we don't know what we're going to be standing at too. Again, tomorrow here, our Martinsville rating, Henry County forecast giving an 8 out of 10. Again, breezy from time to time, mostly sunny skies, highs near 40, year rent lows staying in the 20s. Our sunrise is coming in at 724 with those west breezes. Switching gears now to the weekend and the next several days, as you do see here, we are going to introduce some rain chances moving back in for Sunday, but for Saturday, Man, 56 degrees. This is about 10 degrees warmer than where we, where we need to be uh, for this time of the year. So if you are doing anything out Saturday, take advantage of it. It's going to be so much nicer than previous weekends we've had. Well, last weekend wasn't too terrible. But are you noticing a trend here? Yes, rain on Sunday. This is now like the third Sunday in a row that we've had rain every Sunday this month of January. And, it, and this pattern, of course, has been so stubborn thanks to the, the development of that La Nina. It's been, a, it's been more of a weak La Nina. It's been more of a mild La Nina than it is a leak, weak La Nina. Uh, thanks to that, because what's happening, the atmospheric uh, jet stream and our feeling of the cold weather has just been so limited of course, we had a chance of that freezing rain earlier last Sunday morning or Monday morning. Uh, and then, of course, this time around, we're not going to be seeing any freezing rain expected because look at this 48. This is average uh, for what is this? The middle to well, the 27th, 28th to the 29th of January right here. So wrapping up January. 
man, we're going to feel like April because it's 61. They're a lot warmer than we need to be. Again, our overnight lows near freezing uh, on Saturday night, so no weather worries expected. Just a kind of a cold, wet rain, not as cold as last weekend, but more so of scattered showers. Take care. We'll see you next week. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. We headed over to Patrick and Henry Community College for the women's basketball game with the Lady Pats being victorious. Okay, I would tell you one of the things that we looked at is the defense. Uh, we, I think we finally beginning to buy into if you play defense, you're going to win big games. And that was the difference. They beat us by 10 last time, and I think what we won by about close to 30. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, we had at least five uh, shot clock violations, and then we had two or three five seconds on the other team. So when we can play defense that, that toughly, uh, we have great opportunities to beat a lot of teams. Yes, well, unfortunately, we do have a couple injuries uh, that they're not here tonight, okay. but the key as you said before, we were able to put pressure on them. Uh, one of the keys, I get two keys to the beginning of the game. One of them is ball pressure. We need to pressure the ball. We need to move on the flight of the ball. I think they did that very well. As a matter of fact, one of the players, I'm going to bring her in now, I call her my defensive player of that game. Either way, whether they whooped us or rather we came in, it was what happened tonight. And we played as a team. We played defense as a team. We did everything as a team. All I can say is we play defense as a team. And that's how you got to do it. It's, it's a team effort. But defense is really, I haven't always been the best defensive player. So it was either play defense or play offense. I'm a defensive player. I don't really score on offense, but I bust my tail on defense. So when I play defense, I encourage the rest of my team to play defense. And they picked it up tonight, and we got the win. My team go on my same level of defense. I turn my defense up more. I just was ready to play today. We've been on like a six-game losing streak. so. We had to come in and turn up, and every time I touch the ball, look in the score or find an open man. Because no team wants to lose all the time, so on a losing streak, it drives you to want to get a win on the board. Yeah, I told them, just screen and roll, and I'll find you. That easy. <laughs> that easy. I told her, um, clear out the side of the floor, post up, and I'll give it to you and go score. We've been here for 25 years now, and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. 
I am getting so hot, I won't take my clothes off. Pete, why are you dancing naked again? Because it's hot in here. It's hot in here because you won't turn the heat down. We get such a good deal on propane from up there, PVT Express. We ain't never got to turn the heat down. Well, you should, and you need to put your clothes back on. PVT Express now has Propane Express. You don't have to wait in line or even go inside with their pay window. For the best prices on propane, it's PVT Express. 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Parents have one main question. Is the COVID vaccine safe for their child? Yes, it is. More than 9,000 babies and children under the age of five participated in the trials, and there were no new, new state hedge concerns. And more than 10 million kids, ages 5 to 11, have already been vaccinated against COVID. And I think that's simply amazing. Welcome back. You're watching VTW 21 News. As always, we appreciate, appreciate your continued support and company. Your current report by Apex Bell Bonds is next. Clifton Barrow, 34, of Axton, Virginia, charged with reckless driving, endangering life or limb, and driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Terry Holcomb, 53, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Doyle Markham, 45, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. William Ray, 39 of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with driving while intoxicated, second conviction within five to 10 years. Brian Shively, 48 of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Michael Arrington, 59 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with disobedience and resistance of an officer of the court. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for sticking along. It is uh, now that time in our newscast, almost over with the 30 minutes of news. Again, Martin is in Henry County's only daily newscast. And that time is for our obituaries by Bassett Funeral Service. Raymond Arthur Harper, 68 of Martinsville, passed away Saturday, January the 21st, 2023. The funeral will be Friday, January the 27th at 11.30 a.m. at Greater Canaan Land Church in Gretna, Virginia. Visitation will be 30 minutes prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family.
Paul Melvin Clark, 76, of Martinsville, passed away Sunday, January the 22nd, 2023. The funeral will be Thursday, January the 26th at 11 a.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation will be one hour prior before that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Fanny Elizabeth Martin Penn departed this life to eternal rest on January the 22nd, 2023. A visitation service will be held Friday, January the 27th at 1230 p.m. The funeral service will be at 1 p.m. at Mayo Missionary Baptist Church in Ridgeway. Sylvia Penny Ratcliffe, 69 of Bassett, passed away Monday, January the 23rd, 2023. The memorial service will be Saturday, January the 28th at 3 p.m. at Christ Church, Martinsville, Virginia. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving that family. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in as 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a big southern breakfast or home-cooked meats and vegetables? Come join us at the Sirloin House, where we have a breakfast buffet seven days a week and a lunch buffet Sunday through Friday. We've been serving this community since 2001 at 207 South Van Buren Road, Eden, North Carolina. Enjoy the buffet for only $10.49. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina, and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry-out or catering needs. How'd they take care of you today, sir? Excellent, man, excellent. They're always good down here. They'll take time to go through and help tell you stuff you don't know if you have questions. And believe me, I've asked them plenty of questions. How long have you been coming here? Two or three years. I've seen ads, I've heard people talk about them, clean lot, come in here, get out without too much fear of having flat tires. I've been on some places where it's like, oh man, it's going to cost me more than I'm going to make. West pays more, that's for sure. There's you know, man, that's going to wrap it up for this a Thursday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, we can we thank you very much for your company, and uh, remember to stay updated on our website or social media pages. To me in the 8 a.m., we'll have another episode tomorrow, so we're excited about that. 10 a.m. here, uh, excuse me, on Radio Free Rafford, uh, 10.30 on BTW 21, and uh, 10 o'clock on all your favorite podcast platforms. Have a good evening, everyone. <laughs> If you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed.